Hot water bottles are often used to help keep warm in bed and relieve muscle aches. However, adults and children can suffer serious burns from hot water bottles, with young children and older persons at higher risk of severe burns. Hot water bottle burns can be deep, painful and can require hospital treatment and skin grafts. They can result in permanent scarring. There are a number of ways you can help prevent hot water bottle burns. Hot water bottles should not be used with children or older persons. People with poor circulation or decreased sensation should also avoid using hot water bottles. Never use boiling water to fill a hot water bottle. Use hot water from the tap only. Pour into bottle slowly and do not overfill. Make sure the plug is properly sealed and not leaking. And choose a hot water bottle with a large opening to make filling safer. And fill hot water bottles away from children. Old hot water bottles can leak and split, so check for damage before use and buy a new hot water bottle every 12 months. When using next to skin, always use a cover or wrap a towel around the hot water bottle. Do not use indirect contact with skin and do not lean, roll, lie or press against a hot water bottle as it may burst and cause major burns. Always take the hot water bottle out of the bed before getting in and do not use hot water bottles in beds fitted with an electric blanket. And when not in use, store empty hot water bottles in a cool, dry location. If someone is burnt, remove any clothing or jewellery from near the burn, unless it is stuck to the skin. Immediately place the burn under cool, gently running water for 20 minutes. Do not use any ice or ointments on the burn. Cover the burn with a clean dressing or towel, keeping the person warm and comfortable. Seek medical attention as soon as possible. For larger and more serious burns, call 000 in Australia or the national emergency number outside of Australia. Keeping everyone safe from burns is as simple as remembering to prevent, remove, cool, cover and seek. This message is brought to you by the Tasmanian Burns Unit, Tasmanian Government.